Hey, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to our live. I am Heather and we come to you live each and every day, Monday through Thursday. So you can learn about Luminous, what we have to offer 1030 a.m. Central. So it's a great way to see how to do airbrush makeup, um, see it being done, ask questions, see other products, um, anything and everything. Um, so again, you can ask questions as we go along. Um, and um, I just thought, I'm like, do I have my airbrush here? Um, you can ask questions as we go along. You can, even if it's even if it's not about products that we're using right now, you can still ask. So ask away. Good morning, Martin. How are you? Um, all right, let's go ahead and get started. We always like to show the beginnings, the um, you know the basics, the what you get in your kit, that kind of thing. And so this is where is that? One of our starter kits. This is the Icon. We also have the Icon Pro and the Legend. Um, <clears throat> and they come with two bottles of foundation. We give you similar bottles so you can um, really color match. You're, you're, when you're picking your shades at first, you're picking a range. And so we want to get you in that right range. And then um, we can kind of go from there. But we do have a 100% color match guarantee. So if it's not the right shade, don't worry about it because we're going to make it right and get you the right shade. And so um, we also it also comes with love and blush. And then our blush, of course, is super high pigmented. A little bit goes a long way. And um, I'm going to use soft rose and get it out right now. And then um, the love is something you may not use every single day, but um, you can mix it in with your foundation. You can even mix it in with a blush, but you're, you're going to love love because it does give you like this, um, luminosity to your skin. And it is amazing. Now, when you first start out, these are the things we want you to do. I want you to keep it four finger widths away from your face. Watch yourself, feel that air, move the stylus around and watch. Bam. Bam, and make sure your three fingers was away or four fingers away. Also, just you know, you're just making these movements. It's not a free for all, and you're not painting a fence. So just keep it going, and then lightly, lightly, lightly pull back on the trigger. I'm going to be using the breeze today, and um, and I'll show you about pulling back on that trigger. Um, Hello, Jeannie. Hello, Veronica. Hello, Valerie. How's everybody doing today? All right. I am going to go in. Let's see. I was seeing if I had, I wish I had that rose mist because I love that. And I do feel a little bit dehydrated. Um, I had to take some mucinex. A little life history about me. And so I'm very dry very depleted uh well, i had some but i don't all right let's go on shall we um and so you can put a couple of drops of the rose water serum um oh thank you um oh y'all are so sweet oh no Marilyn, be careful, girl. Be careful. She's under a a tornado warning or tornado watch. Woo. Hey, Pam. Good to see you. Um, and so <clears throat> when you're doing it, you when even spraying the the mist on or the um the rose water serum, you want to make sure again, just keep it moving. Don't you can concentrate it in certain areas. Um you know, but that's, again, that's up to you. Now, today I wanted to do kind of that no makeup look um, where you want to look decent and go outside, but you don't have to put on a whole bunch of makeup, right? And so to do that, I'm going to use the same thing I always use because that's the great thing about Luminous is whether I wake up one day and I need full coverage or the no makeup look, whatever that is, whatever that is, I'm still using the same things. And so your coverage is done by making passes and by bam, bam, bam. The more passes you make, the more coverage you're going to get. 
And so if I don't want a lot of coverage, I'm going to make less passes. Makes sense, right? Uh, we always talk about uh, pre-coverage where I go in and I do certain like on my lids and under my eyes for my dark circles where I'll go in and kind of focus on those with either um, like the um, um, peach color corrector, glow, CC concealers, whatever that case may be. You can go in and do that in the pre-coverage. I have something in my mouth and it's bugging me. Okay, thank you. I don't know what it was, but it was bothering me. Um, and so <clears throat> brows, I don't care what I'm doing. I'm going to have my brows on. That Brows are not a negotiable. <laughs> like I have to have my brows on. And so instead of going in, hey, Michelle, good to see you on the YouTuber. Um, so I always put on my brows. Now to have that natural, <clears throat> no makeup look, I'm going to go straight in to the foundation. Um, however, I am going to do the blush first, especially with the no makeup look. Now you could use the natural blush, which does have a little bit of a shimmer, but let's say I want some, um, okay. When Bowling Green tornadoes hit, oh my goodness. K, be careful. Hold on. Somebody on K uh, is, um, was hit, uh, down, was hit a tornado hit her about a 10th of a mile or less. Oh, <clears throat> and who said they were? Marilyn said they were, uh, Kay, are you in Georgia? Is that Georgia? Y'all better be careful. All right. So I'm going to go in with the, the soft rose blush and still do a natural look. Now I always say never do more than two drops of blush, right? Now for a natural look, you may only want to do one drop or do two drops with some love or two drops with um, some of your foundation, you can kind of mix that in. But I do want more of a rosier cheek. So that's why I'm going with the soft rose. And I'm doing it first. I'm not going to do any pre coverage, just going into blush and foundation. So I have my uh, blush. Do a little on this side, back or go to this side. In Kentucky, girl, be careful. Go a little bit more here, here. I don't know why I like a little bush. Give me a little color. But even with this, I don't want to go all the way up. The paper towels are all the way over there. Um, I don't want to go like even too much you know i usually when we do blush i tell you like get the blush to where you almost love it and then let it go because it will kind of bloom up a little bit more where i'm doing a no makeup look so i'm doing less okay so I only i did do two drops of blush and i went boop, 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 a little bit but then i stopped and i had to blow some of that blush out okay I saw someone apply bronzer and they frowned. I don't think that's going to help you. Frowning is like bringing stuff down. So I would not, I would have happy eyes while putting that on. All right. So now I'm going to go in with my foundation. And if I wanted <clears throat> full coverage foundation and not using any pre-coverage, I could do any, I could do that with eight drops of, a, of my foundation. However, since I'm doing the no makeup look, I'm probably going to do three drops, maybe four. Um, <clears throat> but that's it. Two, three, four. <laughs> yes, frowning is the opposite of what we want. All right. So just starting in one area. I'm going to make and lightly, there's not a lot, let me take, turn this off real quick. There's not a lot of difference between here and here. 
So with the breeze, you are barely pulling back. If you are practicing with water, like I tell you in the beginning, then you'll have a better idea of how it works um, because you'll be able to, you, you'll start listening and hearing it. You can hear when product is being let out of your system. You can hear when it's gone. There's a dry sound. So that was just one complete pass. Now I can go back and maybe do a little bit more underneath my eyes, on my lids, down my nose. And that's all I'm going to do. Like, I really don't want this makeup look. Now I'm blowing the rest of it out. Oh, it did go out. I've not charged it. Is this one going to work? Okay, let's hope that one works. And now I'm going to go in and do love. Guys, just an example. Make sure you do not want to charge your breeze every morning, okay? Don't, or every day. Don't charge it every day. What you want is pick one day a week, maybe one day every two weeks. And um, yes, Valerie, very light touch. She says, I agree. The breeze is a very light touch. Exactly. Um, you want to um, pick a day that you can charge it because when the breeze first came out, I was like, the hardest thing about the breeze is going to be remembering where you put the charger. Uh, because the 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 charge lasts a long time and um but you don't want it to run out like it just did on me so make sure to pick a day that you charge it all right i did just put some okay good i did just put love in here now love is a hydrating illuminator it's going to give your skin some luminosity give you that young, youthful glow. Hello, Amber. So good to see you. So good to have you back, Amber. Um, and so <clears throat> being that I'm wanting that no makeup makeup look, um, I'm actually going to apply love a little bit loosey goosey <laughs> where normally I would do it here and here. I'm kind of just going to maybe go all over. Uh, definitely on the forehead, nose, maybe a little bit wider around the cheeks. Oh my goodness. And because it give, it will give your skin that young, youthful glow. And because I'm wanting that no makeup, makeup look, I kind of want to have that everywhere, if that makes sense. It's just another different look and that's all i'm going to do there now apply mascara oh you know where i could do it it's on my lids to get a little bit of luminosity on my lids and then i could apply mascara and then i'm done um and then um hey david um just or Mia, <laughs> sorry. I could apply, you know, I did a little bit of luminosity on my lids and then um, mascara and then I'm done. Um, I did already have the Dusty Rose lip liner on. Um, and so I can top that off with a gloss, top that off with um, the lip jelly and then you're, you're good. Or if you still wanted to take it up a notch, you could go in and, uh, Ah, Valerie needs more love. Um, my love of foundation was so thick, it would not shake up. I had to run to the bottom. Oh, Christina, that's a good um, good idea. Christina on YouTube said that her love or foundation was so thick, it would not shake up, um, and that she had to run the, the bottle under hot or warm water. And I love that. I love that she thought of that. Uh, because that is something you could do if it, it makes sense, right? I tell you to clean the system with warm water. So why wouldn't that help break that up? And I also love the fact she knew it didn't break up because she couldn't hear that BB. You hear that little knocker in there. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And so the ones that are little, you shouldn't have had that problem, Christina, with the love or, or foundation. Um, so if it does stay thick or um, it's not working properly, call customer service. Um, and they'll want to know about that. The ones that I have issues with are going to be luminizers because that pigment is heavier. 
um, and um, it, a little bit thicker and anything that's like a higher pigment. Um, but with that luminizer pigment, it, you do need to shake it up. If you have a two speed system, you can use the higher speed for those luminizers, uh, for those things that have a higher pigment load. Um, and so, um, we, you know, that's, but that's a great idea to do it under the, or hold it under the warm water or let it soak in the hot water. Um, let's see. What is in the silica doesn't. So, um, so Jeannie just said she ordered the rose foundation and got silk. Well, Jeannie called customer service. So they said do the rose. Um, the silk foundation, the silk four in one has the, well, let me back up. Silk four in one, rose four in one. It has um, anti aging properties in it, it has a moisturizer, primer, concealer, but silk is going to give you sheer to medium coverage. And then Rose is going to give you medium to full coverage. As a makeup artist, those are the ones I stick to for a couple of reasons. One, they're awesome foundations. Two, they have 18 shades um, in, in those two, in Silk and Rose. And what you are in one, you're the same in the other. Also, because of the, um, the 18 shades, they are more neutral. And so they're going to be a little bit easier to um, apply where you don't have to worry about more pink or yellow undertones. Um, and so I definitely would stick to those. Um, Jeannie, if you do find that you need to powder a little bit more with the silk powder before applying um, the foundation, but the silk, it has the silk fibers in it. And so that is going to, um, um, possibly make make you glow a little bit more whereas rose is our cleaner foundation it's vegan meat free i don't know all those things <laughs> it's gonna uh, vegetarian i don't know um where the rose is a little it's going to be cleaner and so you will stay it, it gives you more coverage and it has more pigment in it um and then valerie asked about um <laughs> Valerie asked about the lip jelly and this is our lip jelly, which I love. And it is a plumper. Plumper. It is going to um, plump up your lips. So when you first put it on for the, for the very first time, you will notice some tingling. It's not like, oh, tingle, but it's like, oh, I ate some red hots. Tingle. Okay. So, and it's beautiful. It does have, you can wear it by itself for sure. See that pink little hue there? Um, but I love it and it's because it's thick too. So I don't need a lot. I just put it on my finger. Still tapping it. I tap it because I already had on um, my Dusty Rose lip liner. And then I'll move it in. But it's a great, it's going, not only is it going to plump up the skin, but it is going to um, um, treat your lips. So it does have vitamin E in it as well. All right. So back to the no makeup look. If I did the love, I'm good to go. I don't have to add any more. That's perfectly fine. Um, or I can go in with a super neutral supernatural um super neutral like light brown and of course all this depends on your skin tone it's going to be a very neutral brown light brown for me and i'm just going to do that right here in my crease i'm not blending it in right now because i want you to see it okay not much of a change, but you can see it, right? And I also did matte because of um, what I want in my crease. I want it to be matte so it makes my eyes pop. What you're doing when you apply eyeshadow is what? Anybody? Anybody? The lip, Valerie, the lip stain won't stay on as long. Uh, it will break it up a little bit. But 
try it by putting the lip stain on and then let that sit for a while. And maybe before you leave the house, tap on a little bit of that jelly. But if you apply anything on top of the lip stains, it does break it up. We're contouring the eyes. So all we're doing is contouring the eyes. So we're creating some depth. And now I'm just blending that super light, super neutral color right there. Mascara and done. Okay. Now, <laughs> you know, I always like to step it up, step it up. So I did this yesterday. We had a shoot yesterday. Um, are the translucent loose powder and press powder same? No, um, it is a little bit different, um, but they work the same, if that makes sense. All right. So I'm going to show you the difference on this. I am now taking an angled brush and I'm going to put eyeliner on with my angled brush. That's eyeshadow. Now, what I love about this look is all it is going to do, I'm I'm going to use black, which, you know, if I said, hey, let's do a natural look and I use black, you would go, um, I don't think those go together. But what this will do is going to deepen, Cindy's like, tap, tap, tap. It's going to deepen right at the lash line. So I'm only, Christina, I noticed that the difference between one and two still, two seems to. So yeah, Christina, the, the reason why you, Christina on YouTube said um, that she noticed the difference between the zero one zero and the zero two zero is the two seems to be a little cooler. You notice that because the zero one zero is white. <laughs> I mean, it's transparent. And so it's pretty, I mean, it's super light. We have a, a, a lady in our graphics department. And I call her transparent because she is the one zero one zero. Um, and so you're going to notice a little bit of change in that. I'm not saying there's not pink and yellow undertones in our, um, our silk and, um, rose i'm just saying they're a little bit more neutralized okay make sense all right good questions though all right now boop, boop, i'm going to take my angle brush and into the black tapping off my brush i'm going to um i like using eyeshadow for eyeliner because there are so many shades yes and cindy also cindy on facebook says she loves using eyeshadow as eyeliner because there's so many shades you can also, um, uh, when I do underneath, I always do a powder um, just because you have less pull um, and I can kind of soften it a little bit. It's a little bit softer look, but you can also wet the eyeshadows, not the actual eyeshadows, but like you can wet your brush, then put it in the eyeshadow and it will um, make it more cream based and a little more intense, but not, in, not intense like a liquid eyeliner. Does that make sense? I feel like I'm talking a lot. Um, all right. So I have my um, black on here. Now looking down into my mirror, I'm going to lightly tap. And I'm talking right into that lash line. Uh, we like to say tickles our, tickle our lashes. Okay. So right in here, very lightly, I'm just tapping as close to my lashes as I can get. See, I got a little bit too high there. So I'll just go right here. Right there. Okay. Now look at that. Not much of a difference or not, not a big step, but look at the difference. Okay. So when I go in to put on mascara, I maybe don't even have to use as much because this is going to deepen it. Um, what do you use for sagging skin and what is the best store-bought water-based moisturizer? Um, I'm a huge fan of Olay. I love Olay. They have hot, they have expensive stuff, but they have a lower end stuff too. Um, and so, yeah, I'm a big fan of that. Um, of the of moisture of that moisturizer um sagging skin 
it's part of life. I mean, I wish I had like this, um, this magic wand that could say, oh, do this. And whenever I come up with it, I'll be doing these lives from Tahiti. But um, with sagging skin, it's a depletion of, you know, our face forgets to pump blood as we age. Our face get, forgets to pump blood to our skin, uh, to our face. And so it's a lack of moisture for the most part that when we start getting wrinkles and crinkles. So moisturizing key. Our rose water serum, this, this guy here, I love and I use this at night um, as a treatment. Um, and so make sure that you are treating your skin, that you are taking care of that. Um, the other um, product that is great for um, wrinkles and crinkles is the velvet veil. You have to, is it going to get rid of the wrinkles all? No, but it is, and it does help blur fine lines, wrinkles and crinkles, sunspot, redness, poor, it helps with pore reduction. And it is amazing, but a little bit goes a long way. I don't even use the dropper. I put, when I first pull it out, I'll wrap, uh, wipe my hands around or fingers around the dropper and put it on. You can put it everywhere or you can put it in certain spots. But those are the things that I definitely would try um, for the wrinkles and crinkles. But don't overdo it with the velvet veil. All right. So I'm going to put a little bit of mascara on one eye that has the liner and then on the other one that does it. And we'll see what a difference it makes. Because if I'm doing a kind of a no makeup look, I don't want to like pack on mascara. I'll look like crazy woman. Okay, so see how that, or let me put it on here, but see how that makes the lashes look thicker and fuller alone. And then I'm going to go here and do this one. And there you go. Both are completely okay. Like if I wanted to go with just this, I'm like, what can I use to hold up? I'll use this. I use our lash lure. If I wanted to go just like this, right? I'm good. This is a good day. I'm good. But what about this? Can you see the difference? Is there one that you like better over the other? Is there a side you like better? Um, Cindy just said that she uses the kinetic skin toning system for her wrinkles and crinkles. Guys, if you haven't checked that out, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. Um, I was in the starter group when we started using it and I saw the results on all the users and by far it's amazing. Just like I was telling you how our um our skin our body forgets to pump blood to to our face the kinetic skin toning system helps your body to remember to do that and so it's it's a basically a little workout like little kisses all over your face um that are coming up and and, and it's making the blood go there okay and so um it is amazing what it can do you can use it twice a day you can use it every other day you can use it while you're watching tv you can it doesn't matter you don't have to be in front of a mirror um it's a really really an amazing product so check that out as well is there a side that you like what do your models in the ad use to contour um christina uh, they use our, our pro i mean either the um the um matte bronzer i was like what's that word matte bronzer or the cut one palette i use the cut one palette pretty much every day 
that's my go-to every day. I love our cut one. Um, what is the last package that you just held up? So this is our last, where did I put it? Did I put it back already? Oh, here. This is our lash lure. These are the magnetic lashes. Um, you can get them individually like this. But this one, I don't know if this one's empty or not. But this one, it's the cutest box, too. I might have used all these, so. No, it's a good one. Okay. So right in here, you have all three of our magnetic lashes. Once you use them and you take them off, put them back in here. This is the home for your lashes. Because when we used to, when these first came out, I was doing lashes every single day. And they are magnetic. I would put them on my mirror um, because they're magnetic. But what happened is they would not be shaped the right way. And so putting them on was, it just created more, it wasn't worth it. So in, in this, um, the, the full kit, you get all three, you get the holder. So when you put them on, you go boop. And then this is the duo lash glue the two-in-one smart adhesive. It is glue and it is magnetic. And if you've never worn lashes, this is what I would recommend. It is so easy to put on because of the facts of this guy. You have this that's like a liquid eyeliner that you just go put it on your, like you're applying liquid eyeliner. And then when you go to put the lash on, it just goes it pops into place. It's also easier if you need to touch up at any point to touch up with this. So check them out. Um, I will do maybe lashes next week. Um, if y'all tell me a good day for it, um, I, I'll do that. But then once you get the case, once you get the, all of them, you can also go in and just get onesies. <laughs> um, if you already have the two-in-one smart adhesive, and all that. So check them out. All right. Y'all asked some great questions. Very interesting, in-depth questions, and I love it. All right, guys. Thank you so much. I'm going to go fix one of my eyes, um, and um, and then I'm ready for my just hanging out around the house, going, picking up the kids, or a kid. <laughs> um and looking presentable. Maybe I'll run into a, a hot guy today. Uh, all right, guys. Thank y'all so much. And I will talk to you soon. Bye for now.